Hey everyone, John here. Time for another one of these clickbait video reactions. A month or two ago, I did one for Girl Meets World. It was it was responding to a video about Girl Meets World called 10 Dark Secrets from Girl Meets World that Disney doesn't want you to know. And finally, time to do another one from about the same topic, 10 Dark Secrets Disney, does, Disney doesn't want you to know. This time, Andy Mack, another really good uh, Disney Channel show that's still on. It'll be ending soon, unfortunately, in like a few months. So yeah. Uh, the video is about a, it, it's at least a year old, it says here, and it has 1.1 million views. Um, the thing with Andy Mack is I know that this show definitely, you know, has, like, certain things that they might call dark, like, like, that might be considered dark to some people, like, the, you know, LGBT representation and other dark subject matter, but I imagine, like, the Girl Meets World one, which I'll put a link down below, it's probably gonna be, uh, a bunch of BS clickbait, so... I'm going to pause this here, go watch it, come back, let you know what I think. Alright, see you in a second. Okay, I went through the first five entries on the list. Uh, not too bad so far, but there's a few issues. Okay, um, the first thing I had an issue with before we got even got to the actual list is when they're basically saying, like, uh, oh, you know, if you love Andy Mac, subscribe for more Andy Mac content, other shows like this. Like, okay, um... You have, like, three Andy Mac videos on your channel, and this is, you know, now, at this point, it's, like, a year later. Like, three videos counting this one. So that's kind of, uh, you know, being misleading and stuff, you know? Okay, but the actual content. Okay, now, like I said, with a show like Andy Mac, there is gonna be, like, legitimate, like, dark secrets. As far as, like, because with the serious subject matter, they do. But uh, a lot of this just isn't really that interesting. Okay, first, um... They talk about how the show was banned in certain countries, like a lot of African and Middle Eastern countries, for featuring a gay character. Okay, you can call that a dark secret, fine. I never heard about it before. Um, the next one, number nine, is in a similar vein. There was, you know, controversy and, ba controversy and backlash here in the United States, you know, because they had a gay character and stuff. From, particularly, they mention uh, One Million Moms. And, you know, it's kind of just like, yeah, that's bad. It's kind of a dark thing, but it's kind of like anyone who follows this kind of stuff, it's, it's, they're gonna, you know, you're gonna know that's gonna happen. It's not really a dark secret, but just a, especially since, like, people have talked about it. Like, I, I wouldn't really call that a dark secret, you know? Um, oh, and there's this one part, like, in that entry where they, they point out that apparently, uh, uh, um, a lot of the members of One Million Moms, which is a small organization, apparently, according to them, is made of a bunch of, uh, men, and they say, uh, why are all these, you know, grown men watching Disney Channel anyway? Stop staring at young boys on Disney Channel. Like, okay, calm down there. <laughs> okay, you're, you're not edgy enough a channel to make a joke like that. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, but, hey, that's, you know, just slow your rolls with a joke like that. That's, uh, that's a little outside of your territory. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you don't have the right kind of, uh, tone with your content to, uh, make a joke like that. And then number, and then the next one, in a else once again in a similar vein, controversy over the whole spoiler if you haven't seen the show at all, uh, the teen pregnancy thing, you know the fact that Andy's sister Bex is actually her mother got pregnant with her when she was a teenager, you know it, it, it's kind of like yeah okay there's controversy, yeah not that dark, and you know these are also getting a little repetitive the first three pretty similar to each other, but all right, you, you probably could have, like, put them all together in, like, one entry if you really wanted to, but gotta have ten. Okay, ten's the magic number. Um, next, there's a, another controversy about, uh, complaints from parents. Uh, never really hear about this stuff too often. You think that there would be more parents who get upset about more of that kind of stuff, but apparently they uh, found some stuff that it was like the show had some controversy for uh, endorsing bullying and peer pressure, I don't know, not that interesting, you know, like, with a title like, 10 Dark Secrets Disney Didn't Want You to Know About Andy Mack, maybe something a little more interesting than that, ooh, you know, I think any show that deals with serious subjects like this is gonna have a little controversy, so whatever, and the last one I have here is, Disney needed Andy Mack to save them from plummeting ratings. So... Who cares? I don't know. That's not a dark secret. That's just a thing that happened. I don't know. True, I guess, but 
Dark Secrets, not so much. Okay, looking at the screen here, they're gonna talk about the whole Pops thing, aren't they? <laughs> Nothing uncomfortable about that subject. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was significantly worse, that second half there. Okay. Uh, in fact, it, it, it kind of... Okay, let's just get to it. Okay. Number five. Terry Minsky, the show's creator, uh, previously worked as a writer on Sex and the City after she did uh, the Lizzie McGuire show, which she also created, in addition to Andy Mack. Okay. So what? You know what? Um, the same could probably be said for pretty much, like, the majority of, like, kids' media. You know, people who work on kids' media will often, in a lot of cases, work on adult media. That That's hardly what you could call a dark secret. That one's definitely a bit of a stretch. Um, but, you know, trust me, it gets worse than that. But, like, you could really, you know, say that about, I think, like, you know, like, just pretty much, like, any kind of kids' media. They're, you know, not, you know, most people aren't gonna do one thing. I don't know. Dan Schneider, you know, in between making all the Nickelodeon shows he did, had a sitcom with a lot of, that was like a TV-14 show with a lot of adult content, What I Like About You. Uh, you know, so, you know, it, it's not like, I don't see what's interesting there. Besides, like, no, nobody really knows who the people are who work behind these, the scenes of these shows anyway. Definitely not kids, so what does it really matter to anybody? Okay, next, number four. Uh, they point out here, Cyrus is not Disney's first gay character. They follow this up by saying, this isn't really a dark secret, it's more of a fun fact. Okay, so why did you put it? Uh, that's, that's pretty clickbaity to me. But, um, yeah, they point out that apparently, according to them, the first gay character uh, on, uh, on Disney's show where it was the gay couple kissing in the background of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Um, no. Not true. Good luck, Charlie. The second to last episode of the series, Down a Tree, I believe it was called. Uh, they had an entire subplot with a lesbian couple in it. Uh, they, were, they had a significant amount of screen time. That was first, before Star vs. existed. Uh, so, no. Incorrect there. Okay. Uh, this might, this might be the wor this might be the stupidest one. Okay, number three. Joshua Rush, who plays Cyrus, can arm wrestle. Okay, this is my reaction. Here's the notes I have right here. That's my reaction, I'm sorry. That little face there says it all. Okay. Number two, actually this might be stupider. Airheads Candy was banned from the set. Okay, so one time, uh, the actress who plays Andy ate some blue Airheads and made her tongue all blue, so they banned it from the set. I don't know what to say, it's just stupid. Definitely not dark, though. Okay, and the last one, this one's kind of... And this one's kind of kind of interesting and dark, but I feel like it was a little misleading for them to put at the beginning of the video that, you know, to like say something like, oh, you can't believe what Disney did in the number one. Like, at that point, I thought it was going to be the whole uh, Stony, the guy who played Pops, I thought it was going to be the whole him thing. Some point occurred to me, wait, that, that probably happened after this video came out, didn't it? Like, that would have been like a really shocking thing, even though everyone already kind of knew about it. Like, if you wanted to make a legitimate list... You put that at maybe, like, number eight or something. And, you know, the higher stuff would be a bunch of stuff that doesn't exist because not every show has dark secrets. I'm sorry. Even kids' shows. But this one, number one, was they have the actors under tight control and like they, they wouldn't let uh, Joshua Rush do, uh, like, snowboarding or something. And they apparently have a rule that says if you get injured... You know, like, and become disabled, you can get fired. Okay, that, that, that that's kind of dark. Uh, they didn't really give an opinion on that one, which is, like, one of the few of these they actually didn't give an opinion on. But, yeah, this was mostly uh, a bad, very clickbaity video. It, 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 it's, 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 the, it's, like, the worst kind of clickbaity in the sense that it's, like, okay, maybe not the worst, but it's just, like, one of the more annoying kinds where the title says, like, oh, this is Dark Secrets. And then a lot of things are there, are things you kind of already know about or things you expect to happen or are not dark at all. 
Like, it's just, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just a lot of stupid, you know, stuff. All right, so, yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say for now. Thanks for watching this with me, and have a good day, everybody. Bye.